Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your January 2022 Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs, so whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Saggy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So when it comes to your um, new year, you've been given a new year, a fresh start and a clean slate, right? Give yourself that. Be okay with starting something over again, right? Be okay with starting fresh or as uh, one of the sayings says, you know, have the courage to suck at something new. But more importantly, have the courage to succeed at something new, whether that is improving yourself, taking something to the next level. And also don't forget, right? You've been given a fresh slate, a fresh slate, a clean slate, uh, a brand new year to do whatever you want with. Extend that same energy to somebody else in your life all right this would be a really good time to give um give somebody else a fresh start right where is it that you can maybe bury a hatchet you know end an old wound or an old feud of some sort you know you maybe don't necessarily have to be chummy chummy or pally pally but maybe it's time to just to let it go right give somebody a fresh start for your actions and interactions with the world at large over the course of January, you have the Knight of Wands, right? So this is to me actually a very Sagittarian energy. So in a lot of ways, you kind of show up for yourself as yourself um, in your reading, right? And I really like this because it gives you that energy, that passion, that drive that you're known for. And this could be a time where something that really gets you emotive shows up for you, or you could be asked to demonstrate or put that passion to use, right? This might be a month where you're called into action in some way, shape or form. And because this is about your actions and interactions with the world at large, this is you tapping into something primal this year, uh, this, this year, maybe this year, uh, this is you tapping into something primal this month, right? And I love it because this is your card, it's your energy. The only thing that I will say to you with this is if you, you know, try not to want to, we all want to do everything at all the, you know, all at once. Try to find a specific focus, right? Give this explosive passionate energy something to do. You've got Mars currently moving through your sign. Uh, I think it will be coming into the sign of Capricorn not too long from now. So, uh, you know, use this while you've got it, but make sure, like, when we give Mars something to do, it does it really well, all right? Uh, now, for your money and materials, you've got the Four of Pentacles. So it looks like a lot of you are getting really serious about some form of travel. Maybe for some of you, you're getting really serious about your savings. It looks like there will be opportunities for you to really revise the budget this month or to look at the finances, to look at the resources in some way and think, okay, what can I do here to improve this? Now, it is the Four of Pentacles, which does suggest that this is not necessarily the best time to make any big financial moves. I very often see this when somebody's saving for something big, um, you know, especially in personal reading. So if you're saving for a mortgage, if you're saving to buy some big purchase, this month you can absolutely cake it, right? You can really put to, uh, put some money away, which is great. It's just not necessarily the right time to go ahead with the purchase at this moment in time. If you are gonna make a big purchase this month, just make sure you're, you remember what I said, right? That explosive, powerful, dynamic energy needs something to do. And with this Four of Pentacles, you might feel restricted this month um, when it comes to the resources. Maybe it's like, well, you know, this is a great deal. I wanna do it now. If it's a great deal now, it will be a great deal later as well, all right? So this is something that you, this might be a month where you're having to really curb your um, enthusiasm, let's say, when it comes to making a big purchase of some sort. Just watch out for that, all right? So for your uh, communications and conversations, you have the Seven of Wands. So you've got this with the Four of Pentacles. And I almost want to say to you, like, this might be something that you, maybe something that you're now ready to cash in, right? Whether this is a favor, whether it's a debt, whether it's something that needs to be returned to you. And I kind of feel like you might have a challenge here. It's like, you know, when you... Um, sometimes you have a situation where you get into and it's like, oh, you know, that thing that I loaned you, can I have it back? 
um, and you know there's all kinds of challenges issues or drama with this I don't know why but I'm just getting the really sneaking suspicion that someone or something is backtracking on something that they'd already agreed to return to you to give back to you you've got this right next to this four of pentacles as well which suggests there might be a monetary slant to this um, if that is the case my advice with this measure of cards just cut the loss for now right maybe it's not the right time to expect it back it is after all january and for a lot of people that work on a salary january is a, a really brutal month right so just keep that in mind i'm not saying to forgive it i'm just saying you know keep keep in mind the time of year that it is etc now the other thing that comes up here as well because it is next to the four of pentacles you might have some challenge or issue trying to pull push some kind of paperwork through it's not a no it just means that you're going to have to battle this right it is the seven of wands after all so you're having to really push something in order to get the answer that you want and i kind of feel like this is you know it's like when we've we've done something we set something into motion and we just seem to have obstacle after obstacle and it's like for the mo like for the most part you just keep going but there's always that part of you that thinks do you know what maybe it's not working because it's not meant to happen and then that resilient spirit kind of kicks in and says no it's going to and it happened because I've kind of come this far and I haven't come this far to only come this far. This feels like one of those moments. And I'm going to be really honest with you because it is next to the Four of Pentacles. I do feel like somebody or maybe even an institution is moving the goalpost at the last minute. And I really hate stuff like that. It's, it's one of my biggest bugbears. You know, like when everything gets to a certain point and then they're like, oh, well, no, actually this now. And, and no, there's that like, just tell me what it is from the start so that I can deal with it, right? Don't, don't move goalposts last minute. I'm not a big fan of that. And it looks like this might be something with some paperwork, some documentation, um, again, maybe even something that somebody owes you or has to return to you. Maybe, you know, might even be an item that you loaned out. But it's like, at the last minute where everything's supposed to be completed there's oh and there's this it does feel like it's the last hurdle though so you know don't don't fret too much for your uh, heart and half you've got the four of swords this is kind of nice right because it offers a bit of uh, calm peace and sanctuary that comes through the relationship so for those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments this almost suggests though that maybe there's something here that you and your partner are having to battle together um, you know, and it might be something that gets a little bit loud. Now you've got two fours here, two fours represents insomnia. So um, watch out for this this month. Now it might be as well, because it's the four of swords in the heart and half. Maybe it's your partner that isn't able to rest and chill and relax, right? Or maybe it's you that's not able to rest and chill and relax. It's like, you know, when you're when you're in a relationship and like one of you is not sleeping so well and then like you kind of bear the brunt of it and you, you know you have to you know, it is what it is um this might be the case this month so just watch out for that for those of you that are single this is going to be a slow month when it comes to dating the dating life etc and i actually think that's the break that you need because there's obviously a, a whole bunch of other drama going on here for you in some area of your life so just watch out for that all right now for your weeks of the month for the first week of the month you have the justice card right underneath the um knight of wands if there's any legal situation, if there's anything to do with paperwork, documentation, etc., I would just be careful here. There's uh, this kind of really interesting feeling to, to me that it's almost like you're rushing in to sign something because you feel like it's not going to happen otherwise. It's like, no, no, if I don't do it now, it's not going to happen. That might come back to bite you in the butt. So just uh, not even choose wisely move wisely right if you're going to sign something again we've got venus retrograde most of the month in fact the whole month basically uh, and then we've got mercury going retrograde on the 15th so just be aware that those energies are floating around somewhere for your second week of the month you have the sun card right look at that right underneath the four of pentacles this tells me that the finances the money the resources that you need are absolutely available to you this could also be a time where you manage to increase the money that you've put away so if you're saving for something this month could really see you um 
uh, not even just improve the finances, but it's like you're you're maybe doubling your money somehow. Like there's something here that bodes really, really well for your finances. And the fact that you've got this, it kind of diminishes some of the challenges. So whatever this issue is where somebody's moving a goalpost, it doesn't look like it will stick, right? So just keep that in mind. And as I said, exercise a bit of patience. You've got this next to the justice card. So it's kind of a mitigating factor. Um, for your third week of the month, you've got the, the faith card. So this is actually the Hierophant. So paperwork, documentation, anything where you're having to work with a bigger institution this month could, and like I said, I just get this feeling that last minute, it's like everything looks fine. And then last minute, it's like, you know, like, why now? Do you know what I mean? Like, and you're battling it out. Like, you're absolutely going for it. There's no holding back. Like, you are doing this 100, uh, which, you know, which is great. I wouldn't expect anything less from a Saggy. Um, and you've got this next to the Sun card. For some of you, um, the process, whatever this process is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're trying to get off the ground or, you know, pushed through, you might find that there's a moment where something in your belief structure changes or shifts, or maybe something is illuminated to you personally from within, and it makes you kind of go, okay, this is where I'm getting in my own way. I can move out of that now. Um, but some of you as well might be dealing with a bank or a financial institution this month. And then finally, you've got the High Priestess with the Four of Swords. Uh, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, there's definitely a very private, very intimate conversation taking place this month. Um, there's something that you and a partner are trying to work out, hash out. It's not an issue or an argument. It just looks like something that you're doing that's very deeply personal and possibly very intimate. So I don't know. Gosh, I'm just trying to think of a, a, an example that that's even more intimate than being in a relationship with someone. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're... Uh, I'm just trying to think. I can't think of a good enough example to give at this point, but there's something that you guys are doing behind the scenes. There's something that you're sharing that is very deeply personal to you and your partner. And it's something that you're obviously trying to work out through or over. Um, very, very interesting, especially because this falls next to the Hierophant card, which does make me wonder, um, you know, now for those of you that are single, it looks like some of you might be getting into something with somebody who is not single, all right? And the only thing that I will say to you, whenever the High Priestess comes up and represents um, a, a clandestine affair, um, <laughs> said Lady Chatterley, <laughs> um, whenever something like that happens and it comes up through the High Priestess, it's not long after that it's discovered. Um, I'm not saying that you guys are, you know, most Sagis tend to be above board with a lot of things, but I will say that if you are in that sort of situation, you probably have around six weeks, six to, around six to eight weeks before you're going to have to say something or you're discovered. So be careful. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the way that the lady works. Um, but I've noticed that in my practice, so I would just be careful, all right? When it comes to your uh, new moon message, you've got the gate 10 and empower. I love this card because it always reminds us that by being truly, authentically ourselves, um, this new moon is gonna show you how to truly sit, stand, and be in your power. And by just living that truth, it's gonna filter out and everybody else around you is gonna be able to do the same. The only thing that I will say to you is, give yourself permission to expand, all right? Whatever that means to you. When it comes to your full moon message, you've got the gate 22 and grace. Um, so a very, very interesting card here, I have to say. For the full moon, this is gonna to highlight to you where your person is your person. Um, for a select few of you where maybe your person is no longer your person. And the other thing is the full moon is really asking you to tap into your own creative juices to do something that you feel is worthwhile in terms of creation, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. For those of you that are continued subbies, you know I love you for it. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and this resonated with you, hit that subscribe 
subscribe button. Have a fantastic January. Happy New Year. I truly hope you have a wonderful one. Take care and I'll see you soon.